Hi guys, welcome back. And today is April 14th. Why is that special? Well, it all began in 1861. This is Fort Sumter, a Navy post in South Carolina. On April 12th, Confederate forces bombarded the fort. Due to the lack of supplies, the Union soldiers had to surrender. At the surrender ceremony on April 14th, it all happened at once. Union soldier Daniel Huge was killed in the explosion. Four years later, in 1865, President Lincoln and First Lady Minnie Todd were watching a play at Ford's Theater. The audience laughter was turned into scream. Marilyn actor John Zwicky's Booth assassinated President Lincoln. He would die from the wound the next day at 7.22 a.m. on April 15th. His funeral train would take him to 12 funerals before his final stop in Springfield, Illinois. However, now it's just two-thirds of it. On April 14, 1912, a four-funneled ocean liner was sailing on her maiden voyage. Her name was Titanic. She left that house in England to Queenstown, Ireland, and Sherburne, France. Once those stops were done, she headed to New York. But off the coast of Newfoundland, Titanic struck an iceberg, ripping holes in six wartime compartments. Titanic could survive with four to five flooded, but definitely not six. After the collision, Titanic developed a starboard list, which slowly turned into a port list. The crew started deploying the light boats, but however, the third class passengers that were located in the bottom of the ship had no way to get there because most of them didn't speak English and they didn't know where to go. The bow started submerging under the wave and the stars started to rise. By 2 a.m. on April 15th, the last life boat had left, leaving 1,500 people stranded on the doom of Titanic. Titanic suddenly returned to an even keel, but that was interrupted when the first funnel collapsed, causing a starboard list. Sec the second funnel will also collapse in a ball of flames. Then at 2.17 a.m., the keel on the upper decks failed, causing Titanic to break. The Titanic soon made a zigzag shape, before the bow and the forward tower were ripped from the stern. After the forward tower got separated, the stern fell back and created a port list. For a minute, the passengers thought that the stern would float, but they were dead wrong. After the breakup, the stern began its final plunge. The aft tower was separated from the stern, and the fourth funnel collapsed. The stern just went verbal before going under, and Titanic surrendered to the sea taking 1,500 people with her. Despite all this, there is one positive thing that came out on April 14th. On April 14, 2023, aka today, Canadian Pacific and Kansas Southern Railway merged the form the Canadian Pacific Kansas City Railway. This is the first railroad to operate in Canada, the United States, and Mexico. After this merger, Canadian Pacific closed in 2016 will operate an excursion on Canada, the United States, and Mexico. Being the first entity to operate in those three countries and the first operational Hudson in a while. So I guess in the moral of the story is, there surely is a silver lining. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I see you on the weekend. Bye!